What's the difference between città, villaggio, paese and all these things that kind of mean city? Let me help you out with this. Ciao ragazzi, bentornati a Ask Manu Italiano. Io sono Manu e questo è Italy Made Easy, which is the name of my channel and my website where you can go and find P a downloadable PDF with today's lesson notes, the examples of everything I say, the translation of everything I say, the explanation and some exercises for you to practice and the keys or the solution to last week's exercises if you've been doing them. If not, what are you waiting for? Don't forget that you can find all the other episodes of Ask Manu Italiano in this playlist. If you're on YouTube or if you're on my website, well done, then you find them right here, right? What's today's question? Uh, let's hear it. Hello, my name is David Jufford. I'm from New Zealand and I have been doing the Speak Italian from day one class with um, Manu. Uh, my question is, I have noticed three words for uh, city, small town, or village. Um, la città, il paese, and il villaggio. And I'm not sure which to use at which time. So some help with this would be appreciated. Thank you. Perfetto. What a great question. So what's the answer? Kind of easy. Let's start with città. The equivalent of city is città. So it's a feminine word. It's la città, like you said. It's got an accent on the A, which means you stress it. So it's città and it stays the same in the plural. So we have una città, due città. It won't change. Just a little bit of revision. And so, you know, if you mean città, go for it. Just say, so if you mean city, just say città. Now, what Italians consider a città It's anything over 50,000 inhabitants. So if it's a place with... My opinion is that often we still call... We don't call città until it's got 100, but the official definition of a città is 50,000. So, you know, it has to be biggish. So, Roma è una città molto antica. Roma è una città molto antica. Rome is a very ancient city, or old city. Ti piace abitare in città? Ti piace abitare in città? Do you like to live in the city? So that's the word city, città, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. There's a little exception because in English you might say I'm going to the city uh, in some versions of English and that doesn't work in Italian. If you're going to the city, meaning the, the CBD or downtown, whichever way you call it, uh, in Italian we simply say vado in centro, andare in centro. So in centro is when you go to the city, to the hub of the town, of the city. So, you know, città, don't let it confuse you, it means city. So if you're thinking city, you're going to say città. That's the easy one. Now, the next one is confusing, and I can see why there is confusion, because paese, which is masculine, it's il paese, plural would be paesi. Paese has two meanings. It could mean country, and it means town. And if you're wondering, how do I know? Context. If I said l'Italia è un paese turistico, l'Italia è un paese turistico. Italy is a touristy country because Italy is a country. So it doesn't make sense to think of paese as town, right? So Nettuno, which is my hometown, which is a town, Nettuno è un paese sul mare. Nettuno è un paese turistico. Nettuno is a seaside town or is a touristy town just to use the same example as Italy. So in that case, we know that Nettuno is not a country, so we think it means town. So that's why it can be both. To avoid the confusion, I personally don't use paese much. I use the synonym, synonym, if I could say it, nazione. Now, nazione is feminine, like all the words that end with zione, and it's la nazione, it's like the nation, and it means the country. So you could say l'Italia è una nazione molto potente. Very powerful nation, it's not true, but uh, it's in the G8 for some reason. So yeah, so think of that. So if you think in country, you can say paese, but you can also say nazione. So 
Let's go to Paese and see if we can use it, how we can use it. So there, there are actually three words that I suggest for you to use when you think in town. As you can see, villaggio is not there. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So you could call a town paese. So I could say Nettuno è un paese bello. Nettuno is a beautiful town. Paesino is when it's a smaller town. So, for example, Nettuno has 50,000 or 60,000 inhabitants, I think, 50. And I st we still call it a town, like I said before. So to call it Paesino, it would have to be like under 10, maybe. Then it would be a Paesino. You know, there's a lot of small towns in Italy that have less or fewer than 10,000 inhabitants. So you could call them Paesino. Not Villaggio, Paesino. But here's the word that I want you to learn and to use a lot. It's the word borgo. Borgo. It's the same as the English borough. If I could spell it. Let's see if I can spell it. Yes, I think so. So it's the same, as you can see, it's the same word, right? And it's attached to English words like Lensborough or Williamsborough, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and it's, now Borgo identifies the old village as in the old part of town, especially in countries like Italy with a lot of history, most towns would have the old part of town, right? Now, if you're looking at what you might think as a village, like, you know, up in the mountains, this little village uh, up there with like, you know, 5,000 people living there, you might think it's a village in, in English. It's not, it's a borgo. Borgo tends to be old, ancient, medieval, a fortress. It has to be old, not necessarily, but yes, we like that it's old. It kind of works better. And it's very small. So that's the word that I want you to use a lot more. If you're not talking about a town, which would be a paese or paesino, if it's smaller, then you will find there's a lot of borgo in Italy. Okay. It's also part of many names of towns. For example, near where I live, we have Borgo Sabotino. Sabotino meaning the name and Borgo means the little town. Okay. What about village? The thing is that we don't use the word village. We don't use the word villaggio to mean what you're thinking. Villaggio has two meanings in Italian. Villaggio, yes, it means village, but it talks about some remote culture, like, you know, I don't know, maybe some tribe in Africa and they have a little, like, tents, you know, like that kind of village. That's what we call villaggio. So, you know, if you're talking about, like, history, like, you know, pre-civilization, then you would talk about villaggio in that sense. But these days, no town is ever called villaggio. There's another meaning of villaggio that it's used daily and very commonly, and it's with the meaning of, um, of a tourist resort. So if you go on a holiday somewhere, then you might, and you might stay in a resort, that is called villaggio turistico, or simply villaggio. So if you hear the word villaggio from an Italian, they're not talking about a town, they're talking about a resort. So don't confuse the two. That's it for now. Grazie mille. Grazie mille per la domanda. E ci vediamo nel prossimo episodio. Don't forget to subscribe, as usual, and to watch the other episodes, either here or on the Italy Made Easy website. Don't forget to download the PDF. Don't forget, oh my God, I'm so teachy. See, that's, um, that's the problem of being a teacher in real life. I tend to be a teacher a lot. But yes, no, if, um, you know, if, it, if it helps, and I know it, it, it is helping because I, I read your messages, do download the PDFs because they really help. And also, got, uh, you can ask your questions if you go to italymedici.com and it might be featured in this series. Now, uh, I have a lot of questions already accumulated. I select the best ones, so make sure that your question is to the point, short, concise, and can be answered in 5 to 10 minutes. Ciao, ciao! I don't know.